I made it you guys. I can't believe I'm here. Wow, the past like 24 hours have literally been chaos. Here we are in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Woo! Okay, long story short, because I gotta, I'm kind of in a rush here. I gotta get cooking, get ready really quick. But I have had the longest like 24 hours. My eyes hurt <laughs> from like being on my phone the whole flight. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. Long story short, I was going to St. Lucia this coming week, and already I had flights like in and out of Syracuse, switched that to in and out of Albany. There's been like so many changes, and then like last minute put two and two together that Max was on a road trip in Florida with the Devils playing hockey and I just didn't realize that the game against the Panthers in Fort Lauderdale, which is so close to Miami, was like the day before I was gonna have a layover in Miami, stay the night and then go to St. Lucia the next morning. So I'm like, wait a minute, if I just change my first flight and get there a day early, I could go to his game. But I realized this yesterday, like less than 24 hours before the flight would take off. So I booked the flight so last minute <laughs> direct from Albany to Fort Lauderdale, which would conveniently get me in like a couple hours before the game, have enough time to get ready, except no, it landed late. I don't know why, I think like we didn't even take off that late, but we landed like a full hour late, just got here, and I gotta leave in like 30 minutes. So I'm here, I can't believe it. Now I have like a full day in Miami tomorrow, I guess, because our hotel for tomorrow night's in Miami, but I'm in Fort Lauderdale right now, just like really close to the rink, and my head is spinning. I can't believe I'm here. I threw it together so quick. I packed up my stuff as quick as I could. I was like not prepared very early, but it's so worth all the chaos. Max is like, wait, I'm so excited you're coming and two people from my management team were gonna come with me because they're here already and so it worked out so perfect. I'm so excited, I gotta get all ready and oh my gosh, my self tan on my hands, <laughs> ignore that. Also, what worked out so well is a couple things. This is actually Max's hotel room that he was in, that's, why it's like, that's a whole other story. Other thing that worked out really well is I'm like, wait, I'm starving, I literally had breakfast a million years ago and I'm starving and I gotta go into the game. So, look at how good this looks. And my Uber here, it said it was like a 10, 15 minute like wait to drop off Chick-fil-A. I'm like, wait, that's perfect. And it literally got here and I did perfect timing. So I have some food in my system going to the game. Okay, I gotta stop talking. I can't believe we're here, we're doing it. <laughs> this is reminding me of like college spontaneous me that would like book a flight the day before, change my flight, like stay somewhere extra long or go somewhere else on a trip after. Like I was just always so chaotic like that, but it was honestly so spontaneous and fun and just very me and yeah, also shout out my mom for watching Brody another night. She was all excited. So, this is so fun. Okay, I gotta zip it. I'm gonna get ready as quick as I can. And I'll be off because, of course, it's a 6 o'clock game and not a 7 o'clock game. So, I gotta get moving. Also, I just have to say, I panicked. Normally, I get the spicy Southwest. I don't know why. I got the cob. I just, yeah, I just had to order really quick. So, that's what we got. Also, I should've got, like, fries or something. I was just like, check out, order, hurry. That is, like, the best whenever you time it when you get off the plane so that your Uber is there like right when you're walking out and if you can order food to get to your hotel so it gets there right when you get there. It's like oh, all the stars aligned. This is the best when the dressing's all evenly mixed. Okay, bye, I gotta, I gotta get ready. <laughs> Here's the fit, really quick. Gotta run, Uber's almost here. Off we go. Found my way over here. Got dropped off kind of far away. <laughs> so I've just been following the crowd because I'm like, I have no idea where I'm going. But this looks about right, right? <laughs> I was about to say, what's Amaret Bank? But I'm sure it's just like how Philly was Wells Fargo. I'm sure it's a bank <laughs> that's here. <laughs> so fun. 
I'm so tired. I'm happy we got to see Max for a little before they had to leave. It's crazy for away games. They'll always leave like the second the game ends, even though they play Boston in two days. They left like immediately flew to Boston so that they have like all of tomorrow off. So yeah, they have like a long night. I'm so sleepy just from like a travel day and stuff. And I also didn't even just get home. I literally got home, was laying on the bed for the last like 30 minutes posting stories and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I wish I took off my makeup and changed and showered. Cause now I was like laying there, like still all done up like this. And I'm like, oh, Gretchen, and why did you do this to yourself now? I'm even more tired and I have to like take off my makeup and shower and change and stuff. Don't you guys hate that? <laughs> like I get so lazy taking off my makeup, showering, changing into PJs and comfy clothes. Like I love that feeling, but doing it is just like a lot when you're tired. I don't know. But I also will never like sleep in my makeup or like not shower. I've gotten crazy about that in the past couple of years. Sorry, I'm like rambling right now. I don't know. <laughs> but if I'm ever like, okay, no, I don't need, I can just take off my makeup, wash my face, brush my teeth, get in bed. I'll lay there and not sleep as well and lay there and think, oh my God, I'd be sleeping so much better if I just showered. I just rinsed, I feel fresh in my sheets. Like you just feel better, you know? Anyway, <laughs> these are my thoughts. I'm procrastinating. Getting ready for bed is what I'm doing. And isn't it sad too when you get all ready and I'm like, oh, my makeup turned out good. At the game, I was like, whoa, I look so tan. More so my hand. These aren't good. These are not good. Like this is fine. And blended nice these aren't good these look like cheeto knuckles and fingers i need to be better at tanning my hands <gasps> the orange on my palms like that's really bad I gotta figure that out what was i saying oh when you get all ready and you're only out for like a couple hours and i'm like wait but my makeup turned out good today now i just have to like take it off it's only been on a couple hours anyway okay i need to get ready for bed because we need to have a day tomorrow in miami since i'll uber down there in the morning maybe try to hit like a soul cycle class if the timing works out check into my hotel down there because we actually fly out of the miami or i flew into fort lauderdale but then we fly out of miami to st lucia and i think i showed my outfit quick before i left but i was just sure you guys were loving this blazer from Revolve, the brand Song of Style. It like fits oversized, I got a medium and I just like love an oversized blazer moment. Also, just got this black bodysuit from Revolve as well. I love like the details. It's just like a fun little cut and fit. And then these jeans are also Revolve. I swiped up on Cindy's story a bit ago. They're really long, which is good for you tall gals. Dr. Denim, Blue Adidas Sambas. Also been loving these. Woo! I can link my whole outfit. Okay, without further ado, getting ready for bed. See you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning. I gotta get all packed up here. Good. Kind of yawn right now. <laughs> trying to talk to you guys because I have to Uber down to Miami. I think I was saying this yesterday. Our hotel is down there for tonight since we fly out of the Miami airport tomorrow morning. And I'm so sleepy. Of course, last night I could have like gone to bed early, got a lot of rest before I see it. We should trip and I scroll on TikTok for way too late. So that's my fault. <laughs> I need to like go get a coffee and <laughs> wake up. But I'm just gonna refresh my hair right now. I was gonna say my second day hair. Maybe this is like third day, but I guess second day from when I like curled it which I actually always like maybe even a little bit better it's just really like soft looking curls but it's the perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video thank you so much way for working with me on this video you guys know my most favorite hair care products and I wanted to specifically shout out their new hair gloss if you guys haven't heard of this okay right when I heard of this I was like immediately yes I need to try this out because basically I've just been using it in the shower you leave it in your hair for five minutes I do like mid to the ends on like clean wet hair in the shower and then you just let it sit and like if you can see even like day or two after washing my hair it just gets kind of like dull looking so this helps a lot with that makes my hair look so shiny after I get the shower style it helps with splitting and damage helps protect your color all things I'm looking for it's really really good when I first heard it had hyaluronic acid and rice water I was like immediately yes because when I see all these like hair health girlies on tiktok they like rave about rice water and say it's just really good for your hair so i've been incorporating this into my routine and i'm excited to see the difference you guys should try this out if you have not heard about their hair gloss and then right now just to refresh my dull ends i'm gonna use their hair oil you guys know this is like my favorite stuff it smells so good it just smells like a flower garden like i don't know how else to describe it and i really need this because my hair just gets so i mean my hair is very dry but again this helps with shine 
shine, helps protect split ends, damage, all the things. Also has heat protectant, which I'm always looking for in all my hair products because the last thing I need is a hair product on my hair and then I use heat and it like fries my hair, you know? Already, this is looking a lot smoother and better. So yes, you guys know my whole hair care routine is Way, their detox shampoo, the best clarifying shampoo ever, their conditioning treatment mask, their leave-in conditioner I have right here. Look how cute this little mini is <laughs> when I travel. I cannot live without this stuff, the best detangler for when you go to the shower. Literally can't get a brush through my hair without it. It gets so tangly since it's so fine. So I'll have Way linked down below. You guys should definitely try out my faves I've been using. Again, detox shampoo, treatment mask, literally all of the products I've tried in love. So I'll link linked down below. If you go to theway.com slash GG, you'll get 15% of your purchase. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash GG for 15% off. And now we got to keep packing up and getting ready to go. Okay, you guys, I was just inspired to make an athletic greens real quick. I'm happy I have some minis in my bag. Oh gosh, this is always so hard to get into a bottle like this. I might need my full focus. Oh. Please don't spill. I need like a, a funnel. Or maybe if I go like... <laughs> So you know struggle on the road if you have like this or even like emergency that would be good right now I don't know if I have any of that basically Max texted me that he woke up with a sore throat He was like oh this keeps happening whenever they're like on the road and traveling much because they obviously came to Florida I've been flying around down here flew to Boston last night So it's just been like a lot and he woke up and was like oh my throat's all swollen I'm like that is all I needed to hear I I'm taking all the wellness precautions I can right now because I get like that too. When I travel, I just would get a th sore throat. That's where it all starts. You're just like really run down and I'm like, I don't need this energy right now. Oh good, that's all of it. Okay, gonna mix this up. Now it's like all down the side. Please hold. When was I? I'm having deja vu. Oh, when I was shaking up my salad last night. I'm like, when was I shaking something else for you guys? Be like, I'm shaking up a cocktail. Oh, also, that reminds me. I think I told you guys, or maybe not, when I was talking about my goals for this year and stuff, I didn't even like write this down or anything, but this is kind of just like for myself. I thought about how I could do dry January because I've never done that before. I think I was talking about it either on YouTube or my podcast. And I feel like sense in my head, I'm like, oh, it's not that serious. It's not that strict. It's like I wanted one. I could have one, but like, I just like want to see if I could do it. It's going really well. And I haven't even like missed alcohol that much but I'm sure if I was like Christian you can't have any alcohol I'd be more like sad if I was like absent or something I don't know I only miss like a really like fancy fun cocktail shaken with elderflower and rosemary on top and like flower petals like I just love like a fancy fun cocktail like that but I, I didn't like feeling like I had a drink socially not like I had to but I was just like in the routine of it you know so that's why I was like this will be a good little challenge for me and like at the game last night I just got a big club soda with lemon that's like my favorite thing anyway and obviously it tastes better without vodka but that's like my go-to just like vodka soda because I like love like a seltzer water so I just did that and it was great so yeah that's going well now that I'm shaking it up for like 20 minutes mm. my one other update I wanted to tell you guys is I know I said last night hope I can get down there get to a soul da 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 but then I looked at the soul cycle schedule like the two that are close ish to the hotel down there are the soul cycle Brickell Brickle I don't know I haven't been to that location and then South Beach is the one that I always go to when I'm like on vacation in Miami but I think both studios just had morning classes and I assumed there'd be like afternoon evening ones because I'm like, okay, I gotta get up, pack up. And we're like 45 minutes down there. Get my stuff all like checked in at the hotel or at least like leave it at the desk if my room isn't ready, stuff like that. And so then I was like, okay, Gretchen, well, you could go to like the 1045 class. It would give you enough time if you left it at this time, try to drop your stuff and then walk or Uber to the, or maybe you can show up to the soul cycle with your suitcases, try to leave them at the front desk. And I always do stuff like that because I'm always like, there's a will, there's a way, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. But then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Can I not make things so complicated and stressful sometimes? Like I always, like I'll be like, oh, I'll just go right off the plane, right to dinner. I can meet you. I can make it in time. I'm gonna leave my suitcase. But it's like stressful. Like why am I doing that? <laughs> and obviously I love soul and it would've been worth and stuff. But then I was like up late on TikTok, like I said. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's not meant to be. I wanted like an afternoon class. So we're not gonna stress. Just gonna get to the hotel, drop my stuff in my room isn't ready, or put my stuff in my room, and then I think there's a good gym at the hotel. So I'll just do that. Listen to my body. I'm also like I could use like a nice walk on the treadmill stretch i'm feeling like sore and tired from travel like i don't need to like go ham in a soul cycle class right now so that's the plan
made it down to Miami and it's only like a 45 minute Uber and I've never stayed at this hotel. It's called the Intercontinental and it's so nice. I didn't realize how big it was. I got in the elevator, it was like 30 something floors. I'm like, wow, is that also, this room is beautiful, look it. So you walk in and it's like this pretty wallpaper. This makes me wanna do like fun wallpaper in my house. Like that makes it so fun in here. I don't know, I just love it. Okay, then the bathroom, I'm obsessed. Something about me is I love a big, like bright bathroom. It's so bright in here for doing your makeup, getting ready, skincare, stuff like that. Like lighting in a bathroom is everything. There's like lights everywhere, all around. This is so nice. Wow. Okay, I love it here. Also, oh, I'm just like a big bathroom in a hotel to really like spread out. We're here literally one night, but look how cute. I'm just obsessed. This is the prettiest shower. Okay, I also want my shower to look like this. I get so much inspo, like every house, hotel I go to now that I have a house, I just wanna like copy and do everything <laughs> that somebody else has, cause I'm like, ooh, I like this. Okay, then, oh, a little coffee setup. Then come in here and it looks very cozy and cute in here. I'm loving it. Look at all the colors. Yeah, it's just really pretty here. Have you guys stayed here? I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything. So I'm like, wow, this is so nice. Also, two beds because it's Miss Sydney is joining me later tonight. She gets in at like 9.45. Everyone gets in pretty late, but I'm so excited to see her. We've been like texting all morning. Also, yeah, I just like really did not look up where I was staying here tonight at all. Who knew? Look at the water, like right there. Wow, pool. It's pretty like dreary, rainy day, so I guess I'm not really doing that. But like, what the heck? This place is so nice. And I'm wearing this because my plan was to get here and go to the gym. And I'm honestly happy it's kind of dreary, or else I'd feel bad like working on my phone and computer and like going to the gym and stuff today, but since it's like kind of sprinkly and like you not know, good weather, I don't feel bad. Like I'm just gonna catch up on work stuff today and <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna have a day in Miami. But like I actually do have work stuff to do before I go and I don't wanna like be stressed when I'm in St. Lucia. So I'm gonna like do that, go to the gym. Probably after the gym, maybe walk, like find an acai bowl kind of thing and just hang and like prep for St. Lucia, plan out some content behind the scenes. I'm so happy I'm here. This is so fun, I always feel so independent. Whenever I'm like at a hotel by myself, I'm like, look at me go, like I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> got the whole place to myself, you guys. This gym is so nice. I love a gym all by yourself. It's like peaceful, you know? Pretty gloomy out, but a pretty cool view. Okay, here we go. I never know how to do these touch screen ones. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. Doing my 12, 3, 30 moment, except I do three and a half because I got long legs. So three feels like really slow for me. Okay. Throw my little AirPods, off I go. You guys are literally like the biggest dummy in the whole wide world. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. I'm soaking wet. After my workout, I was like, I'm just gonna run over to Pira Vida. It's literally a half a mile. It's sprinkling, I'll be fine. I'm really soaked. It started really raining and I was like, I've committed. It's too late to call an Uber. Like I'm so close, but I'm just soaking wet. <laughs> how cute it is in here. I don't think I've ever been to Pura Vida before when I've been to Miami. It's adorable. I feel like I'm in the one hotel lobby right now. Got a little acai bowl. Yum! This is gonna be so good. Just what I need right now. That little late lunch. So done over and over half a mile, but not pleasant walking here. Okay. It's so much later. I've just been hanging all day. Like I said, it was nice that it was rainy and just cozy. I was like all snuggled up in my bed. I had like the best shower since I wasn't planning on washing my hair and then I got all rainy. So then I was like, okay, did the full blow dry or like wash blow dry, put more like tanning drops on my face to hopefully match my tanned body. FaceTime Max for a while. Texted a bunch of my friends, was reading, was on my computer. So it was like a nice restful day. And Miss Sydney just got here. <laughs> she is in the shower right now, but I'm so excited she's here. And yeah, 
we're gonna be on our best behavior. Normally when we reunite, we stay all night and chat way too long, but we are gonna go to bed in a reasonable hour since we gotta get up early for our flight to St. Lucia in the morning, which is gonna be so good. I can't wait for my St. Lucia vlog. Maybe I'll vlog a couple more clips on this vlog before we start tomorrow morning. I gotta see if I wanna do one or two St. Lucia vlogs. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, maybe two, cause I'm sure I'll be like content queen, taking videos of everything. It's just gonna be beautiful. I can't wait. Wait, also. <laughs> I was just surprised a little bit. I had a little bit of an idea, but do you guys wanna see? You can guess what this means. <laughs> you can read what the words say on a little paper. I'm gonna cry, this is like actually such a big deal because I've never, well, I'm giving it away. I've never been in anyone's wedding before, so I'm so honored. <laughs> Look it. <laughs> Exhausted. Four head to the airport. We're doing good. Running in really quick to grab food on the way to the airport. We're back. Good thing we're on time this morning. Good thing we got here when we because did. Good thing we were warned, or we would have probably woken up later. But imagine if we didn't have clear too. I know, that's guys. probably a three hour line, right you say? No, literally. The Miami it. airport but is so bad. Oh, and we've never seen a line this long, even for clear. <gasps> guys, it's literally a zoo. Did everyone decide to go on vacation at the same time? I know, like, are we all leaving to go on vacation, or are we leaving Miami Where's after going? vacation? Right. Okay, oh, we're yeah. gonna go through a line, and Maybe everyone tell us, traveling here, now they're going here. <laughs> yeah, everyone say where they're going. <laughs> Okay, everyone pray for us. We're good. Plenty of time to spare. And we have Plenty. tea. Got our food. Okay, if we wanted to just have a squat and have some. No, literally. Have we have time. We can yeah. eat breakfast right here now. Ending off this vlog right here. The music just got turned up. Since I don't think I ever ended it off. Get excited for the St. Lucia vlog. It's coming. It's going to be so good. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.